money people live on. Some people live where it is always hot. Some people live where it is always cold. Some are fishermen. Some are farmers. Some live in big cities. When we find out about people, why they live as they do, and about the world, we are learning geography. But did you know that you can begin to study the geography of the world right in your own community? To see how, let's study this community, a small city and the country around it. Let's begin just outside the city, as you might begin the study of your community on the way to school. While the children are getting on the bus, let's look around. Here is farmland. Over here is a herd of dairy cattle. Across the road, there are men working. They are using a steam shovel to dig something out of the ground. They are digging clay. This is a clay pit. On the way to school, we can see more of this community. As we go, the farmlands end and the city begins. We go through a section of homes. Then we come to factories. Not far away are many stores and offices. A few blocks farther on, we come to railroad tracks. Then we go over the bridge across the river. In a few blocks, we are at school. But of course, you see your community at other times than on your way to school. So let's look around this city a little more. Let's go back to the river we crossed. There is a small dam across the river. On the other side of the river are factory buildings. Now, why were the factories built along the river? Let's remember that question as we find out more about the factories. Do you know what this truck carries? Ice cream. And it's made in this factory. And look, they're unloading milk cans at this factory. Milk is used in making ice cream. But why is there an ice cream factory in this city? Let's remember that question, too. Here is another factory. The sign says it's a pottery company. To see what they do, let's go inside. Look, what's coming out of the spout? It is wet clay. The wet clay is poured into molds. When the clay dries, it becomes hard and is shaped like the mold. Then it is sprayed with paint. It is baked in a very hot oven called a kill. When the clay comes out, it is pottery, finished, and ready to be sent to stores all over the country. But why is there a pottery factory in this city? We'll find the answer to this question, too, as we continue to study the community. There, down the street, is the tallest building in the city. It keeps going up, higher and higher. What does the city look like from the top? You can look way out to the edge of the city, 
and you can see farms outside the city. You can see the trees in the section where many homes are. You can see some of the stores and offices. Over here are the factories beside the river. In a helicopter, we can go high above the tallest building. And still higher. When we look at a community from high above, it's like looking at a map. So let's make this more like a map. First, we'll put in the river. Here's the bridge we crossed on the way to school. Here's the dam. And the factories along the river. Here is where many houses are. The houses go right to the city limits. Outside the city are farmlands. Here is the railroad that joins the community to a big city not far away. Leading out of the community in one direction is a broad highway. But in this direction, the roads are narrower. Why? Well, looking way off in the distance this way, all we can see past the city is farmland. But off in this direction is the broad highway that leads to the big city. The highway joins this community to the big city, carrying goods and people back and forth. So, we can learn much about a community by looking at a map. Or by looking around the community itself. We had some questions. Do you remember them? We wanted to know why the factories were built along the river. And we wanted to know why there is an ice cream factory in this city. And why a pottery company. These are geography questions. Let's think first about why the factories were built along the river. You remember the dam across the river. It was built a long time ago when water power was used to turn wheels and make things. So, factories were built close to the water. Then a railroad was built to the factories. More factories were built to be close to the railroad. And though in time water was no longer the major source of power, this had become the section of the city for factories. So now we know why we find factories along the river. But what do the factories make? Why is there an ice cream plant in this city? Well, remember the dairy cattle we saw? All around the city are dairy farms that produce large supplies of milk. The milk is put into cans and hauled to the ice cream factory, where the milk is used to make ice cream. Milk from the dairy farms, made into ice cream by people of the community and sent to the big city not far away. Now, why do we have a pottery company here? Let's think. We saw that there is a clay pit just outside the city. There is much clay here, and it is a good kind for making pottery. So, the factory was built in this community to be near the clay. We have learned a great deal about this community by looking around it and by studying a map. In the same way, you can learn about your community. You can learn how people live in your community, and in other communities, and in places all over the world. This is geography.